Robbie Wong here, risking my wild card so you don't have to, here to talk about Heliod as the commander of a mono-white brawl deck. This deck was a little faster than the mono-red deck in terms of playing the games. Like the, ga the games went by quicker, and even though that happened, there was still some grind to it. Uh, really leaning into the plus one, plus one theme and the life gain theme. Other parts of this deck that I think are interesting is the removal suite or how to deal with creature suite in here is pretty extensive with the cards that I'm pulling over from the left side as cards that also double as creatures, right? So Giant Killer, Law Rune Enforcer, Bounty Agent, they can all do the mono weight Hanged Executioner. They can do the White Weenie thing by being part of a large army and attacking for a bunch but this lets, this lets us deal with any threats on the board so that the rest of our guys can go in. Really busted draws usually in, involved Healer's Hawk and a Johnny's Pride Mate to get a lot of power very quickly onto the board. Worth noting that this didn't come up, the sweeper thing. And I think these cards are really key in those control matchups to still have longevity post-sweeper. I really liked the different Anthem effects that happened. They, there were few enough so that we saw them, but your hand wasn't overloaded with them. I saw this pretty late into the collection of games, and for two mana, that's that's a bargain. Uh, Basri Cat, I'm not too high on him yet, but time will tell. Baneslayer Angel was relevant. <laughs> we played one game. An opponent played a dragon, and I played Baneslayer Angel, and we swung in for the last bits with Baneslayer Angel. The mana base had that Field of the Dead, and I never tested it, because I thought that was too few lands to actually get to seven, seven different kinds. You can see that these three, one was a Field of the Dead, one was a Go Fetch a Land, I'm blinking on the name, but everything else in this deck this is a pretty tight 60 there are a lot of cards that trigger lifelink or plus one plus one or fit or f or protect your creatures for instance but I, I had a lot of fun with this deck it had some busted draws and the uh, we played 10 games on stream and we won 10 games i don't think that this deck is is particularly better than the other decks we've played it just happened to roll out that way I'm a really big proponent, though, of, of saying when the deck pulls you through and you enjoy the lines that it creates, that's that's some good games. So if you watch the videos, there's a lot of times where I leak efficiency all the time and making sure that you balance all of the things that you, keep, you, you need to keep track of between the white pips, the activations, and the sequencing to make sure you get the most out of your cards. But... Highly recommend this deck. It's a ton of fun. It won a lot of games. They were quick games too. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one.